Tonight, we're going to show you what happens when police come across a potentially violent man high on drugs who has already hurt himself. We want to warn you, the video is disturbing and may be hard to watch. Well, this video does show what Spokane police often deal with, and in this case, how they get people to safety. Kyle Simchuk is here with the story you just have to see. Kyle. Well, yeah, you're about to see what Spokane police officers walked into last Sunday at a Catholic Charities apartment building. This man was in crisis. He's okay now, but again, we want to warn you, this video is hard to watch. This 51-year-old man is high on meth. He has cuts all over his body and has been rolling around in the glass he shattered in this laundry room. His blood is all over the walls. Spokane police officers don't have much time to figure out how to get him into custody and to the hospital safely. First, police lay out some ground rules. Turn around, lay on your stomach. Lay on your stomach. Okay, lay on your stomach, bud. If you start biting us, you will get tased. You understand? The man seems to and agrees to lie on his stomach so officers can put on handcuffs. What started as an intense scene minutes earlier is calming down. Put your head up. Okay. There we go. Okay. Is that better? Yeah. Well, I'm more cozy. Yeah, I'm sorry. No, you're okay. Yes. Get medics up here to treat you, okay? I, just can't I know it's scary. So as police officers, our level of intensity can come up, but you need to, if you, if possible, to control that. So on the inside, they're probably a little bit nervous, maybe concerned. Their minds are racing, but what you see them do is a great job of controlling their outward temperament, their tones and their voices. We're, we're going to get okay. you taken care of, okay, brother? We're here to help you right now, okay? Just relax and keep breathing, okay? Police ask him if he's using drugs. He says he did meth earlier. Did you use your normal amount today or did you use more? Oh, uh, yeah, okay, probably a little bit more than usual. Within 10 minutes, he's on a stretcher and on his way to the hospital. He actually ends up complying, and because he complies, it completely reduces the amount of force that they may have to use. The man was later taken to jail. He caused about $5,000 worth of damage to the laundry room and is being charged with first-degree malicious mischief. Aaron.